Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can adjust ch or change the URL of your SharePoint site. Uh, this is something that was not possible up until recently, but luckily we now have an option to change the URL once the site has been created. So here is a scenario. Here is my uh, team site that I created. And uh, when I created, I called it a hardware upgrade. I want to change it to something else. I want to change it uh, to a brand new uh, name, to a brand new URL. So let us let me show you how to do that. Uh, this is actually something that is achieved in the SharePoint Admin Center. So you would need to navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center, click the checkbox, uh, that little uh, information panel, panel on the right-hand side. And you will see here under the URL, we now have the edit button. And it's pretty straightforward. You just click the edit button and spell out the uh, whatever you want for the new URL. Uh, now, uh, very, very important. Uh, if your site is a hub site, meaning the, um, you know, it's a, it's a me, it's a parent hub, you cannot change the URL of that site. Case in point, uh, I have this company intranet over here. This happens to be a hub site, as you can see. And I would like to change the URL. So if I click the edit button, uh, I will actually get another message, all right? So what you would need to do in those cases, is obviously unregister the hub uh, and then uh, change the URL and then uh, register it back and uh, associate the sites uh, back again. All right, so in my case, uh, I have a regular uh, site, all right? It's just a regular team site. It's not a hub site uh, and I can change the URL. All right, so let's go ahead and proceed with that. So I'm going to hit uh, edit button and I'm going to spell out the new name. So instead of hardware upgrade, I'm going to call it uh, software upgrade. All right, and of course it goes through the, uh, you know, uh, through it, it checks for, uh, you know, to make sure that the URL is available. Uh, and in this case it is, and I'm going to click save. And it also offers uh, to change the site name for me. Uh, the site name is, of course, you know, this name right here, right? What we're changing is the URL, but it also offered me to change this um, name as well. Uh, yeah, we might as well. So let's do that. So let's call it uh, just like that. All right, perfect. And I'm going to click Save. And now uh, it's uh, pretty much going through the updates. It already changed the uh, site name. That uh, pretty much took effect immediately, but it will uh, take a while uh, to change the URL. Usually it takes uh, 10 minutes or so. Now, of course, I don't want you to wait uh, all this time. So I'm just resuming uh, my video uh, in 10, 15 minutes and want to show you the end result right now. So here we go. Look at this. My URL has changed. It used to say hardware upgrade. Right now it says software upgrade. Now, what really happens is that it doesn't really change the URL. It uh, creates another uh, URL, if you will, and it does the redirect. So what that means is that if I navigate to the old URL right here, all right, and hit enter, look at this. You see it redirects it to the new URL. So what that means is that if you uh, had uh, bookmarked this uh, particular site somewhere or used the link, share the file with someone, use the, um, you know, kind of the old URL, no worries at all. It just automatically redirects everything to this new URL. So all the links, everything will still uh, work. Now, another thing I want to show you, and it's quite interesting, is that it also changes everything uh, all the other assets of an Office 365 group. Now, this was a kind of a, a, a unique case. I, I changed the URL, not just of a regular SharePoint site. It's actually a group site, which means it's, uh, uh, it's part of an Office 365 group. So what that means is that the site is connected to uh, Teams and uh, Planner and uh, Outlook uh, through an Office 365 group uh, membership. All right, and um, obviously uh, let's let's go and check it out. Look at this in Teams, everything changed. You see the name has changed. Remember we changed the name, so that that's great. Uh, in Planner, same thing. 
uh, the this is just the name of the plant. It, 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 it's just an old name of the plant, but the uh, group name itself has changed, and we can obviously adjust the uh, um, uh, the name of the plan uh, over here. All right, so that's not a problem. However, one thing that does not change, and that's very very important, is the uh, email address of the group. All right, you know how uh, this team site is part of an Office 365 group, and uh, automatically it does create, uh, of course, a distribution list uh, for the group. Uh, now, uh, the name itself has been adjusted. Uh, I'm right now in Outlook. The name itself has been adjusted, but uh, look at this. The URL, all right, the URL of the group uh, did not change. And it's not going to change. Uh, it's something that uh, you would need to take care of uh, in exchange. This is uh, not something, from what I understand, is uh, easy to do. Uh, and it's not something that will change automatically when you adjust the URL or the name of the uh, um, of your site. All right. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, nice and easy. Uh, otherwise, I think it's a great uh, technique to use. I mean, obviously, things change, names change, you know, departments change, uh, or maybe you just were not careful and misspelled something. So it's a great technique to use uh, to change the uh, URL of the site on the fly. That's pretty much everything I wanted to cover today. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, I uh, will be happy to see you again on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.